Chapter 13 The Viable System Model Every viable system contains and is contained in another viable system. The best example of a viable system is a human being. Cells, tissues, organs, body are viable systems contained in other viable systems. The human nervous system is the most complex creation in the universe and a marvel of control engineering. Stafford Beer identified six functions of control that are present at every level of recursion and are necessary and sufficient to assure viability. These functions are an operation, coordination, direction, audit, planning, and identity. Stafford Beer puts all these ideas together in the viable system model. He makes use of both the idea of recursiveness and of fuzzy borders. Beer's model has three main elements, these being a system that houses a metasystem or management and are contained in their relevant environment, represented in the model by an amoeba-shaped area with a fuzzy border as shown here. Here are three examples of viable systems. A horse, a car factory, and a medieval castle. Viable systems are dynamic and complex and change constantly. Beer's model is a cybernetic solution to the notorious failure of authoritarian and centralized organizations such as the Soviet Union proved to be as well as other governments and large private enterprises. The organization chart shown here is replaced by the cybernetic concepts of self-organization that are seen at work in nature. Beer's viable system model integrates many cybernetic concepts at the same time. We are going to build this model right here in plain view and in living color. First, we separate the three elements. The environment is colored green, the operation is red, and management is a blue box. Then we add a lower recursion level beginning with three environments and the operations used in production. We add the management of each using smaller red colored boxes. Now we show the communications and control channels existing between the environments and the systems. The description of system one is complete. It looks like a red colored pill. The next step is to couple system 2, called coordination, on the right, using the color yellow, to set the operations. System 3 is the operations director with its vertical command channel shown here. To the left, we show the audit function channel in red and white. Planning is labeled system 4 and is in charge of exploring the environment. System 5 is called identity and monitors and ensures the balance between the activities of system 3 and system 4. Please note that we show management and coordination and audit for two different recursion levels at the same time. According to Beer, six systems or functions are necessary and sufficient to acquire viability because they allow living organisms to control the flow of materials, energy, and information that is coming from the environment. Only two recursion levels are needed to make maps and navigate recursively upwards and downwards within any viable system regardless of size until we are down to the smallest of operations or the simplest of processes. Every line or communication channel shown in the graphic expression of the model represents an homostatic circuit that is subject to Ashby's law of requisite variety which applies to all control systems.